What's up guys? This is the Geek Speak Show. We are again at WonderCon 2018. I'm Lex and I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, how has your con been? It's been amazing. Amazing. Is there anything that stood out to you this year specifically or is this your first con? My first time. This is my first time. It's all new. I've been to cons before but this is my first WonderCon. Really? What other cons have you been to? I've been to Comic-Con. Oh, so you've already been to the... I've done the con. The meat. Yeah, yeah exactly. there you go. Is this one a little bit easier to breathe for you, or do you prefer actually the crowds? I kind of like the crowds, to be honest. I kind of like the crowds. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of the same way, yeah. It's a flavor, though. It's a flavor. I kind of get the it's flavor. It's a flavor. It's a smell. Specific smell. It's a tease. It's, it's a little bit of something in there. Not a good word to explain it, but there's something. <laughs> okay, so Andrew, what have you worked on and what specifically do you do for those those projects? So I'm a cinematographer. I've been a cinematographer for about 15 years and uh, a lot of commercials, Super Bowl stuff, movies, and uh, did a couple of movies last year, The Vault and The Ritual, which I'm excited about. Yes, The Ritual. I'm going <laughs> to ask you a lot of questions about The Ritual. Okay, just bring it on. All right. And then a few years ago, I was doing a job and we needed to do 360 capture. And so nice. we were looking at what VR looked like. This is like very, very early days and everything was GoPros and we needed to do this like a big job. Mm -hmm. So we ended up custom building this array and we used it on a bunch of commercials and movie properties for studios and brands, the military and a bunch of cool stuff like that. Nice. And it's kind of like turned into consulting on camera arrays and how to build them for Nokia and Google. And That's then awesome. kind of like consulting on how to make stuff and how to make it better. And then as we've kind of gone from the 360 space into more volumetric, interactive, kind of scoping out how we can tell stories in that new immersive space. That's insanely cool. Yeah, it's fun. What is the future of VR then? What do you think the future of it is? Well, I, hope the, I think the future of VR is really the idea of there being virtual environments. Because I think right now people are a little bit hung up on the idea of VR, which people yeah. connect with like heavy headsets and totally. you know, not great picture and maybe not that engaging in you know, content or mm -hmm. not being able to move around. And so I like to kind of reframe VR or immersive environments as mm -hmm. just this, the idea of taking cinematic content but making it interactive. So okay. you can move around, thinking about kind of all the agency that you get in a video game, but applying all the kind of quality you get with an award-winning movie. You're talking to a gamer right now, so the moment you pull all the quality of a video game, you definitely have my attention there. That is, I'll be first in line to buy that product once it comes out, trust me. But I'm gonna roll back this conversation Let's a bit, it. jump back to the ritual. I'm very interested, I'm personally a horror fan, which all of you guys already know by now because I only talk about horror movies. <laughs> um, because I am a horror fan, of course I had to watch Netflix's The Ritual. This movie, was phenomenal. I'm just gonna say it, and I'm sure everyone else thought so too. The ratings were outstanding for it, which I'm sure you know as well. So tell me a little bit about how it was creating the movie and the buzz behind it all. It was an experience. <laughs> it was a thing. We had a great time. It was like, it was in, as intense as you see on screen. I feel like- It looked yeah, intense. <laughs> having done this enough, like I, the nightmare for me not in a horror way, just like the nightmare if professionally, is to like have this insane experience where you're, you know, up in the mountains, you're on steep cliffs, you're yeah. running around, you're trees and rigging and all this stuff, and like then not see it on screen. Exactly. So the goal with this was like have all the intensity of what we did mm -hmm. and what we were going through on screen. Okay. And where was it shot? Because I was really trying to figure out where this was shot. It was a very like mystical land with the woods and all of that. So where was it shot? We shot on another planet. Really? No, we shot we shot in Romania. <laughs> it sometimes Romania. feels like another planet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, because I I was looking online trying to figure out where this could have been shot. Realistically, I would have never guessed Romania. It's funny. We actually explore. So of course, it takes place in Sweden. It's supposed to be northern Scandinavia, right. actually, between right, right. Sweden and Norway. And we looked at shooting up there. Besides being expensive. The fact that we were shooting this in September, October, November, and so the sun was only up for like two hours during those days. Mm -hmm. And an interesting thing is, you know, it's a scary movie, it's a creature we're trying to hide. Yeah. And so we thought, hey, it'd be really cool to kind of explore what that low version of night looks like. Like in Insomnia, when yes. it's like the whole movie's just day all the time because the sun never goes down in Alaska. Yes. So we were like, it would be really interesting to find out what happens, like, it's perpetually sunset. That could be beautiful. Yes. We're like, well, first of all, where are we going to shoot that? Yeah, exactly. But when it gets dark for either light for an hour and a half a day or dark for an hour and a half a day, that's a real problem. So, yeah. especially when you're trying to hide a creature. 
Yeah, you're so, kind of in this in this corner. You have to figure out what yeah. to do with it. Yeah, is it totally. lit and look beautiful all the time? How do you hide the creature? Or is it dark all the time? How do you see the creature? And how do you motivate exactly. guys without flashlights in the dark? Exactly. So we kind of found the balance. Shot in the Carpathian Mountains right near Dracula's castle. It was pretty insane. Nice. Yeah. And how long did production take with this in total? I want to say it was 40, 40 days, 45 days. Wow. It was, it was a thing. That's, it was a it, thing. It was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. It was, it was a lot. It was like, I will say, it was one of the most intense experiences I've had on a movie. And it was like, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was awesome. We had so much fun. We were sort of like, we stayed in this hotel that was kind of in the middle of nowhere with the crew and the cast. Super intense experience. Shooting six day weeks. It was awesome. That's insane. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for telling us about the ritual and every other project that you've worked on. Totally. Andrew, you have been fantastic. Thank you. And once again, this is the Geek Speak Show.